Ooh, straight on there. <clears throat> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Slivering stream brought to you by myself, the Mr. Richard York. Uh, hopefully, you guys can hear me tonight. And I just want to say before we start uh, on tonight's stream, uh, a big thank you to Slivering Games for letting me uh, stream on their uh, YouTube, your Twitch, even. Sorry, I can't even speak. Uh, but it's fantastic to be back again as always so ladies and gentlemen tonight again we bring you astra exodus that four time strategy game don't forget to go and tr find it on steam guys it is definitely well worth the money and i'm very much enjoying uh, purging the galaxy of all sorts of indigenous life and people don't forget ladies and gentlemen uh, if you you know want to comment on the video please don't forget to comment uh, i do interact with you guys hopefully as much as possible um remember guys i remember, uh, i think because some of the updates uh, uh some of my saves didn't work and i think unfortunately this save is not letting me load it so i think we'll have to maybe reload this game i did load it but it's not seemed to work hello guys hello sorry i do not think I think we're in. I think we're in. I do apologise. I heard something move. So, remember guys, play some Astro Exodus tonight. Uh, like I said, I think an update may have just uh, boggled my Twitch stream here. I think because I keep alt-tabbing out, it doesn't like it. And I think I may have to just reload it, guys, because I alt-tabbed out a few times. Uh, we will do that. I do apologise. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. I've just alt-tabbed out. Uh, we'll reload it again. Yep, so we're playing the main campaign, guys. Hopefully this will uh, come back to work again. I do apologise for this. Worked fine last week. But like I said, guys, don't forget to comment uh, if you see uh, if you if you see anything on the stream. But also if you see anything uh, that you want me to do, I'm sure we can. I've really been enjoying the uh, ship design of Asterix this in the uh, previous streams, uh, with uh, adding uh, but also changing ships to the research, uh, which is brilliant. So we're going to see what we can get up to tonight. I remember last time we played on this game that we were being <coughs> attacked by some uh, space pirates uh, and space sharks. So here we go. We are loading back into it. I do apologize for this uh, slight delay on the stream, guys. Uh, but we'll get underway in two shakes of a lamb's tail. But yes, looking forward to hopefully uh, researching some shields uh, and also researching some bigger guns uh, for my ships. Uh, remember guys, uh, in Astra Exodus there are three types of shielding. There's the, of course the shield, armour and then there's the hull points. And all damage is directional. Uh, I've got to say, I have been watching the YouTube videos uh, released by um, Sliverin the last couple of days on their YouTube channel and they are very good. So I think the last stream was T21. Let's give that a load. I promise you, I think if I alt-tabbed it just messes around with the game so I'm trying not to alt-tab too much. Uh, but yes, if you are into the space exploration and of course um, obliteration of enemies, this is definitely the game for you guys. <clears throat> we'll just see this load. I hope it does load because I'll have to have a load of previous save. Has anybody bought uh, Astra Exodus on the stream? Just bear with me, guys. I'll just click load. But it's definitely worth it. I've definitely been enjoying it. I think it's a reasonably priced game uh, for it on here. I may have to load a previous save but I'll just give it a couple of seconds. Do do do. Yeah, no, I just think it because it's the it's the update. I think it's updated, uh, and my game may not like it. Uh, I may have to reload a previous save, unfortunately. But what I might do, just to change things up a little bit, uh, guys, I might just jump straight onto a uh, thing. Yeah, for some reason, I don't know. I think it's. I can hear the load. 
I think I may drop them an email again with a bug. And that is definitely one. I think because of the game's had many updates. Uh, what we're going to do, I think just to change things up, we'll pop onto a sandbox mode and have a playthrough of the sandbox mode. But I do apologise uh, for that shenanigans. But what we'll do, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go and uh, have a little bit mess on the sandbox mode tonight because uh, uh, for some reason that loaded earlier today. And I think there was an update between this morning and tonight, uh, Fast Rex this. So it might have interrupted the save. But also remember, guys, my save is pre-release as well. Uh, so there might be some validation issues there, which I won't do right now, which, like I said, it loaded this morning. But hey-ho, we do soldier on. Oh, we've lost the Grey Knight battleship. Oh, it's harsh. It's harsh. But we can mess around with, of course, a small game on the sandbox mode. Which I do like about Asterixis is, of course, you know, the campaign, which is, you know, also progressive, but also playing just a general, uh, uh, the replayability for uh, creating a sandbox mode is that you can play whatever you like. What does the next Battlestar Galactica um, DLC include? I'm a fan, but I, I'm terrible. I'm awfully terrible at Battlestar Galactica. I tried at the tournament and, and failed, unfortunately. Here we go. We're not going to do that save. We're just going to drop onto a sandbox mode, guys, and just have a little bit of a play. Okay. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna create a small game and we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So we're gonna create a small galaxy. We're gonna um, who spiral forearms circular. We're gonna go for circular. Oh, story expansion. Okay. Uh, we're gonna average. We're gonna go unusual. Uh, we're gonna research average. We'll go, bu, 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 we'll go, I don't know. Hmm, the question is what to do. Gain five or so, only essentially victory achieved when player manages to build ascension gate in five or so colonies. The political alliances sound good. I don't know, there we go, make it easy. Conquest or alliances. Uh, and we're going to uh, knock the difficulty down slightly. Uh, and we're going to have, yep, keep the things on there. Do, do, do. Oh, God, prevent you from saving. Harsh mistress, harsh mistress, and I think of course we just we we'll, we could we're going to play the humans of course because we we're going to keep up with the general uh, humanoid thing. So we're charismatic <coughs> engineers, managers. That's not bad, but we can customize. Remember your factions. So we're going to go on to that. Uh, and we can randomize the opponents, which we will. So let's see, this is the second time I've played on a sandbox, a sandbox mode, which is good. Because uh, it brings you to, it's really random, really random, which I do like. You know what, I've got to say, I do like the government shield there. So, let's see what shenanigans. Uh, what I like about, of course, the um, the sandbox mode is, of course, the, uh, the victory conditions. You have so many turns to uh, have conquest and this is a nice sized uh, map as well uh, like I said like the, like on previous streams guys is I do really really like the uh, the changes the, the the planets the background to asterix disk, but also of course the different size solar systems like neutron stars the red giants the yellow giants I just got yellow uh, white dwarfs um, blue hypergiant which I don't think I've seen a blue hypergiant it does move in. Are you a uh, you're a get you're a person of Games Workshop? I see. All right, we are going to continue. I think I've clicked tutorial, <laughs> which I shouldn't have. Okie doke. So let's see the shenanigans. Yep, I am also a person of Games Workshop. So we're going to look firstly at our homework. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to have to skip past this tutorial. Stupid me! I've clicked the tutorial, didn't I? We're just going to have to skip by it. Sorry guys, just going to skip past this tutorial because I clicked it by accident. Alright, so back to the lollygagging guys. Going to click our home world. We're going to see what shenanigans we have already. So looking uh, at our Terra planet, uh, we have Mega. We have 
Elephants, we have food. I, I love the, I love the farming elephant. It seems like we do any, everything negative to farm and just rip our life from the galaxy. We're not lovers, are we? We're just, just awful. And also, I do like our home world it has a green, a green orb, and very, very swamp-like. Even though it's a just a standard planet for us. Uh, so, what does this actually give us? The rarities. Uh, there's no option but to use a mega, mega. When talking to food on the planet, compared to the home world, enormous forms of animal that inhabit it or of course i wanted to see but you have a sense of prime planetary food for any future colonists wow who likes mammoth on a stick we do we certainly do so we'll have a look at what we have so construction housing construction is 30 turns we've got all the resources for that which is good 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 um yeah unfortunately we are gonna have to do that we've got growth in 14 turns um consumed is eight not bad, but still metals is, is it going to be an issue. Okay, so we've got the planets here. There are no planets around here. Oh, we've got a planet here, uh, which is, of course, a huge gas giant of some description. Yeah, that is... I've got to say, that's the first time I've seen that kind of coloration on a planet. It's very nice. Uh, and Spear 1. Uh, we're not particularly lo loving that at all. But no, our home world is uh, really, really good. Okay, we're going to see what are the closest. So luckily we're on this right side of the edge of the map here. So able to hopefully fortify a good position here and do some uh, do some damage and take over a good portion. Like I said, guys, uh, if you, you do change some of the options over, you can click... Um, you can click uh, to do spiral and see different things and like colonize different parts of the map, which make it very much interesting. So let's go and get on with it. We're not going to send our ship hopefully into death. Hopefully we're just going to send our, uh, our frigate with no armament into battle. Like I said, guys, if I hear a good space joke when I design a ship, I will name you the person. So let's go back here. We don't want to send a colonizer. That is always... A bad, bad choice. Let me make sure I've actually clicked this properly. Yeah, I have, yeah. So we're going to go to this uh, blue hypergiant. So it is ETA of, what was that, five turns that was, I think. Uh, we've got no research projects. We need to think about what we want to research. What look have we been given tonight? So we've already got the module. Iron thrusters, the nuclear bomb for bombardment. You see, we're quite lucky here tonight. Actually, get lucky, but at the same time, unlucky we have the uh, uh arid terraforming and the tundra i think we just need to hold off i mean the pulse fusion drive does sound good but at the same time not we need to make sure of course we are researching armor to uh, upgrade our ships because uh, we've had some bad times where we did get certainly outgunned uh, by the enemy so we're gonna go for stellar commerce i'm a man of commerce i believe in this game if you go have a healthy bank balance you can particularly pull stuff out the uh, out the out the, out the woodwork especially when you need to uh, rush uh, projects or rush ships uh, but do remember uh, your advisors will give you uh, advice which they, this lovely white haired lady is giving me advice uh, you know we should do our red terraform project ah I don't know I don't think I want to want to do that just yet but we'll certainly see in the future turns but like I said as we are playing the sandbox mode guys we are uh, given more we're given more options to research. As we saw in the campaign in previous streams, we were limited to certain researchers. Uh, as you can see, we were probably about... God, you know what? I think we're, we were, we're around here on the, like, tier three or four. But we're down here. Wow. That is absolutely ridiculous. But your planet's got to be huge to build anything like that. So, oh, the tractor beam, the tractor beam. But we don't, we've failed to. Uh, I think they are reviewing stuff, but I can't be certain. But if you've got any trouble with that, just drop it to the sliver in chat, and I'm sure they will do something in the future, guys. But it's only minor things, and just go with the flow. Okay, so we're going to go. Hmm. Advanced, that's not bad. Even the poorest planet could generate some good resources there for metal. Okay. I think we said it there, so let's have a look. What shenanigans? We do have five turns there. We do have a... A neutron star. We've got a white dwarf. Orange. 
orange, an orange. So, oh, we've got a good cluster we could capture here, but also planets we could keep back as production centres. Okay, five turns there. We do we do need to start. We need to build a warships. Uh, we're at seven credits a turn. Metal is going to take a hit very soon. Please do not be alien menaces here. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I think that lady was trying to get us to do the wrong terraforming planet. Like if we did, if we do, uh, if we do tundra, wow, that is a good planet. Let's have a quick look at what else is on here. Semi-good planet, the green swamp planet, where we will create many swamp people. Uh, mm, let's have a look. Uh, compares to the other planet, fifth, uh, five population. So more population, more food, no metals, less cash, but more organic. So if I was desperate enough that I needed an organic planet to start uh, feeding our empire, that would be an option. Okay. Frozen. Have I seen a frozen planet before? That is certainly interesting. That's got a like a Europa kind of feel to it. That does definitely. I'm, I'm actually that is. Like I said, guys, I'm very, I do like the uh, the orbits, and you can actually see the planets uh, swirling around. So, nah, that's tiny. Maybe if I was desperate, but there are better planets. Uh, frozen again, just like my heart. Nothing in there. Nope. Woo! Huge, high gravity, and nothing is there. It is boring. But regardless of that, it is a sight for the eyes. Yeah, that's the best one. I think I'll go for Tundra. Tundra. But unfortunately, I don't know do I go straight there and colonise that. But do you know what? Any colony right now will be good. And that's the ETA off six turns from our home world. Okay, we're still building. I think let's have a quick look at the colonies. We're still building that for 24 turns. Remember, you can't rush housing for the uh, construction. But also, this lovely lady on the left-hand side is giving me great advice there. So hopefully we can just... I think she is telling us to build Tundra, which we are doing. Sorry, housing construction. So that is fine. Okie dokes. Let's continue. Uh, we could send this fleet now on a little bit of a scouting mission, but that is out of range. Out of range. ETA, Redsdeed. Redsdeed. <laughs> Hello, Mike Bravo. I'm not entirely sure what her number is because she is a fictional cartoon character. Oh, Kidok. Four turns. Seven turns for the Plasma Blaster, so we could probably redesign a new ship. Uh, okay, we've arrived there. Let's drop that. Planet, yo. Um, b -b -b nope, that's the bad one. That's the even worse one. There we go. Let's place the, the, the flag of the Stormcast. Brilliant. Things just cost way too much. What? We, let's have a look. Uh, just there. Okay, okay. Do, 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 do. what do we need? What do we need? What would we need? Uh, oh, gold. We're not getting very much food. Consumed 119. It could be an exo farm. Uh, oh, get in here, you silly thing. I'm clicking and clicking. So we could build the exo farm to get plus one food per farmer in the colony. So we'll get an increased amount of food there, hopefully then increasing the colonists as they go. Uh, we need to get this uh, we get this morale up. So as soon as we can get a... Um, uh, an entertainment hub, the better. 18 turns left there. We're still doing some exploration with the other ship. Three turns to it. And the main planet has gained uh, another person there. Brilliant. So, a turn of 15 turns. Do we push them down to the construction without getting any other penalties? 12 turns isn't bad, and we're not starving either. Uh, yeah, we need to build that instead, I'm sorry. Uh, we don't have enough cash to rush build that exo farm, which would have been nice. One turn to get to that new uh, neutron star and see if there's any galactic menaces on there. 
Okay, so let's have a quick look what we have found. Rubble. We found rubble, but in future we could use this as a point. You know, we could put an outpost on there to do some spying across the uh, next sectors. Uh, but apart from that, I mean, I don't, you know, apart from just a building outpost. Yeah, I'm not particularly sure that's fine. Kadook. Um, one turn for Plasma Blaster. Uh, and then we've developed the Plasma Blaster. So uh, it's a pretty good weapon. Pretty good weapon. But against armour. Uh, most ships at this probably this time in the game would be just uh, flying and move armour. We're still waiting for uh, shields. We do need shields. Uh, we do need shields. Okay, that is good. I do like that government shield. I don't know what it is about it. I do like that. All right, so we're going to get this ship. Can we go anywhere else? We've got ETA six turns there. Oh, we can actually travel there. That mm, traveling around here. Hmm. Let's check we are building stuff for a second there. I lost it on the map. Ha <laughs> uh, Yeah, we're going to go up to here. Gurnim. Oh! So, uh, one thing I've not re I've really found is, uh, of course, the heroes. Heroes are really fun in this game, <laughs> and when 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 nobody else can match it, you get a robot man mod Limbaldi. <laughs> what a name! What a name! <laughs> Brilliant. So he's an uh, ancient research and engineer. So he's, he gets. That is, does, does that really in effect? Plus zero. Um, researcher and engineer. Ooh. Plus 10% starship repair generator on assignment. I do like that. He is mighty pricey though. 310 credits. A bit too steep for me there. But he may vanish very, very soon. So we may, we may have to think about that if we do get the amount of credits. Is it worth hiring him? So... Nope, I thought we had somebody else then. So we've reached, we've found this plan. Uh, uh, <coughs> sorry, the red dwarf, and we found a portal, a wormhole to halfway across the map. So what do we have here? Wow, what a bright planet! Oh, you brought your sunscreen, ladies and gentlemen. So a vol, a very small volcanic planet there. Uh, very interesting there. So what else have we got? So it's got three. It's very small though. No, no, I, I very severely doubt it'll be worth colonising. Uh, just that and the wormhole. I suppose that would be a good, I mean, a good plan to set an outpost up. But if I was desperate enough to actually uh, uh, produce a, pla a planet, there would be good defence. So let's uh, bring this guy back down to here. This is Babylon. Let's have a quick look at our colleagues, make sure they are producing everything needs. So we've got three turns for the housing complex, seven for the thing. I think we are going to rush this because I want it built right now. And this is the, the good thing about having credits, that you are able to rush projects uh, into uh, a next term production. Uh, I mean, let's see how that affects that planet. I think it definitely will increase the organic uh, organics, but also the colonist production. Let's have a look now. Yes, plus another food. Brilliant. But remember, with every building, of course, there is a cost. Uh, but it's it's a well worth cost there. We are able to actually export. Uh, we're exporting construction there, aren't we? Is that exporting it? Uh, no, we're exporting nothing. Oh, we're just negative drain on our empire at the moment. Okay, to the next, we've got two turns for the housing project. We do have the plasma blaster that we could ad ad adapt to one of our ships. Uh, but we're going to have to start and think about uh, our offensive but also defense uh, from the enemy. 
And here we are. Ooh. We've got an operative available as well. Exciting. Saboteur and Thief. So wealth not always changes the hands, especially in even legal matters, especially intelligence related sight. An operative with a skill can quickly but maybe not always quietly steal credits from the treasure of an opposing civilization. That's very sneaky. She's quite cheap to buy as well, only 130 credits, but of course it is all ball about her salary, but I think that's per turn, but that would really, really, really uh, reduce my outgoings there. If I was at a different stage and slightly more advanced, I think we would do that. Yeah, sure, she sounds, it's a bit pricey, a bit pricey, uh, Grey Knight. She's, is she going to be worth it? But I've not met any enemy civilization. Should I get her now or later? That's the it's it's, it's 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 a steep thing to do. Oh, we didn't look at this planet, did we? Uh, so we've got Babylon Two. We've got a tundra planet. Wow, it's very rustic. That is looks like a rustic swamp feel on it. But it is a uh, tiny, low gravity tundra. Five people, food, credits aren't bad. The upkeep is one hundred twenty five percent, which is not too bad. Oh, we've got an arid planet. <laughs> looks like Dune. That does. Oak. So, not fantastic, but in the green, five by five, all habitable. Look at that! That is all. That is all, all, all very happy. Eighty percent morale. Certainly in the pipe, five by five. If only we had a colony ship to come colonize it. So, we've not met any other alien Xenos yet. Alright, let's just do some uh, scouting to the outer rims of our uh, empire. Five turns, oh god, 15 turns, unfortunately, that's fine. For some reason, I think that keeps vanishing. <laughs> I can't actually see my. Uh, <laughs> I can't actually see my uh, planet there. Okay, so we've uh, researched stellar commerce. So the guy, people who haven't played uh, extra Astra Exodus, this is definitely one of my go-to researchers. Like I said, guys, I'm a man of credits, uh, and literally. It is what I want, uh, literally, uh, most of this game. Credits just seem to go a long, long way. Uh, and it is worth just getting that plus 25%. So, I think that's top of everything. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really, really good uh, research. And I think it will probably be one that I research every game on the tier. If I get it on that tier. Okay, so, uh, we are... I kind of want to drop another weapon, so I can actually... Oh, God, fusion missile launcher, flat projector, iron pulse cannon. That is good against shields. And also, remember, guys, we do come against uh, uh, menaces. Oh, wow, 32 turns. Eek. That is a huge amount of research. I'm sure by, by the time I actually get to that, it will be easily... Okay, so next turn, advanced mining scanning is 15 turns away. Uh, we've yet to meet anybody. Let's hopefully, when we do meet uh, uh, other empires, that they are peaceful, want to trade, but also uh, want to actually give us a, an alliance of some description. Uh, we've got two budding planets there. One on a you know, not so a fantastic spot, but beggars can't be choosers in the early game. You want to get them provinces down, make sure you can actually um, start getting the colony up with the right... Um, sorry, with more colonists, so you're able to actually making use of them in construction into mid to late game. Okie dokes, let's just keep that going. And next turn. Uh oh, and as always, there are, and one thing I do like about uh, Astra, and well, not one thing, another thing I like is the random encounters along. Of course, the story mode campaign, the same thing happens in the story mode campaign, uh, just to add a little bit of spice in there. So we have microbes. Microbes, somebody has not been washing their hands. 
And I see, this is something that I've not uh, inquired. I can't actually research it. <laughs> I'm trying to think what that would be under. Um, what's it hampering? What's it hampering? It's probably like production. Uh, oh, it's just every, like everything. Just the worst thing it could hamper, uh, of course, is the uh, mining output of the galaxy. Oh, somebody just washed their hands. The coronavirus is back. Wash your hands, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Uh, Gonna have to try and find it on the research queue. I'm not entirely sure where it would be. On the specials, maybe? No. Who? It must be that further down then. I'm sure it said it was available to research. Just get some antibacterial hand wash. That's all you need. You get rid of it. I do digress. I do digress. I'll need to get back on. I'll, I'll, I'll get a bit there. You're right, uh, XTRG. How are you doing tonight? I'd like to hear your fa my, the favorite space joke, so I can uh, name a ship after you. Okay, got one turn to get to the new uh, White Dwarf. And by the look of the gods, there are no galactic menaces in there. Okay, doke. Here we are. A Earth-like planet, an ocean planet. I think you describe planet Earth. Uh, I mean, I always think about this when we think of our planet Earth. Why is it called Earth? I mean, we d it is an ocean planet when you think about how much water uh, covers our planet. I mean, it is it sort of ridiculous, like 75% or more or something. And the same here, just like a very oceanic planet here. And we are loving that ocean world. I think we're going to go for a dip at some point soon. Uh, but unfortunately, very small I mean, we can, we can research things to increase the population limit on these planets, but the initial outlay there doesn't seem fair. <laughs> it's okay, it's called Holy. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like this planet. But like I said, probably every single time I see a new planet, guys, I like the. I do like the, um, the, the effect of the revolving blue and uh, cloud like cover on that planet. Exciting. Okay, and we have the big red devil in my eye. This red swamp planet, planet X. Look at the state of that bad boy. We're not going to live on there, I tell you now, because that's quite spooky. Actually not, is that actually, no, it's not actually better than that planet, but. Sl Sorry guys, I'm just, just slightly better. Actually no, it's massive. Eight people on there. Brilliant. Okay, we're not going to go to the red swamp planet, it's fine. Okay, well, we'll continue to do our little look around to see what's around. The microbes are still threatening the galaxy, that's fine. Oh, the, the, this is the question to the chat. I'm going to you guys on the chat because you've been quiet apart from um, apart from Grey Knight and XTRG and Lannister. Shall I get the sexy cyborg lady? Zia the the saboteur thief, is she worth that 13 credits a turn, guys? Do you think their uh, traits are good enough? I hear one get her. Do I hear another get her? I'm going by the voice of chat. You can't say it twice. Z. <laughs> Thank you, XTRG. Always the gentleman. Get the robot, man. We've got a we've got a we've got a contender, a robot man. <laughs> Somebody tell me their best robot joke. Uh <laughs> I'd like her. I like her though. She that that is a good trait. He does research in engineering for spaceships. Uh it's a hard choice. A hard choice. How much? What? He's got a 31 salary. <laughs> oh, God. He's got a... His salary's so high. Wow. 31 shillings a turn. <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Robot. I, I, I'm not playing your game. I am not playing your game. What's the... Uh, I can't remember the, the lady off... Uh, of God in the Galaxy is the, the robot lady, whatever her name is. Right, I do digress, guys. We're going to go for the robot lady. It seems like he, she he, she has caught the eye of several members of our chat. Ooh! 
She's gonna be stealing. Oh, we can change the mission. Nebula, that's the one. What we're gonna do? What we're gonna do? Sabotage? Counter espionage? Hacking? Hacker man? Stealing? I like the chat. I like the stealing guys. What would you think? I, I, I'm gonna leave this to the chat because I like you guys, and I, I, I hope you were setting me down the right path. So we can steal, rebellion, demolition, assassination. God, really low. Um, sabotage, counter espionage, or hacking. Hacker man, stealing, stealing them chits. Yeah, hacking sounds quite good, guys. I gotta say, I'm a, a but yeah, no, it's not as expensive as that. Um, it's not as expensive as that robot man. That wrote thirty one, a thirty one a turn. Oh, there's not a clip. We got, we got, we got a steal a majority on steel in the chat, you guys. Majority on steel. I think the chat has spoken. Does the XDRG swing the vote? If he's still in chat. Do the thing. <laughs> Alright. We're going to steal. No, we can't steal. There's no one to steal against. <laughs> no, we've hired her. And she can't do anything. That's quite funny. She's being paid to do nothing. Well, unfortunately, that's the way the cookie crumbles with that. She's going to be reaping the benefits of doing nothing until we find an alien civilization to rip off. Oh, can you believe it? All that excitement. All that excitement. Uh, where are we again? <laughs> we did click higher, didn't we? We did click higher. Yeah, we are hiring her. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's quite amusing, I've got to say. Uh, let's just... just uh, check the colonies to make sure they are all doing what they need to do 10 turns for the housing complex uh, 28 unfortunately in the tundra planet uh, but you'd expect that due to the uh, age and maturity of the planet oh she's of course she's idle she's got no one to rip off who's she gonna she, she you can't actually set her on a mission sad days sad days Well, there's microbes. There's microbes. We we. <laughs> We're having a bad day with our metal production. Wow! Surprisingly, no galactic menaces yet again. But we have still. Wow! What a eyesore of a planet. I hope you like your Cadbury purple, guys. Yeah, <laughs> because there's no reason I'm popping anything on that planet. Uh, but the swamp planet, tiny. Some good organics. Not bad for the morale as well at the same time, but yet again, tiny, low gravity. Uh, but remember, guys, you can change these. You can change the tundra. Uh, cha well, if we did swamp planet, we could change it. I don't know if there is actually a swamp planet change. I know there's an arid. That is something I need to look back into the research queue actually later on. I might have to sit and have a look at that. But I like the I like the lightning strikes on the uh, swamp planet. That is uh, a definitely GG uh, for me. All right, you little space rocket, you. Um, Shall we just look at the weapons? I think we only have... Um, I think we are going to design some sort of frigate or destroyer while we are here. I know we've basically only got the plasma blaster to do, but it'd be worth doing it for the plasma blaster. I think hopefully in another stream I will uh, uh, contemplate playing another faction. Uh, maybe the shark people or the guardians of the seed, the Iron Groot people. Mm. You see, we came a cropper last time, guys, just designing Titans. Little ships can outmaneuver uh, these bigger ships. Do we actually have most of... Yeah, oh, we have the Grey Knight still. The Grey Knight is still in our research, so it seems the saves... I'm going to have to check the save file out where it actually saves to into the, um, into the file. <laughs> XCRG, you're awesome. And we still have... Nope, we don't have the 5-0. We've got him still. Wait, where's the XDRG ship? No, it's been decommissioned for scrap metal. No, no, no. Yeah, that's fine. I think we're going to do a destroyer. 
how is that? I've only got 35. I would, I would like to, uh, I would like to change this. So we'll, we'll do a destroyer. We'll do a destroyer. Okay, so we have the plasma, the plasma, the plasma blaster. Uh, ba -ba -ba. On here, we'll have the plasma, plasma. We'll have the plasma. And of course, we'll put some more plasma. And we're going to put the red laser on the ship as well. So the laser is good against everything. It's the mediocre laser. You have to do that with your fingers, guys, when you say laser, by the way. Uh, okay, so we're going to have a mix of weaponry. Uh, uh, move on, more plasma. That's more plasma. So we're particularly good against armor, which you would expect from most of the uh, starting ships here. Uh, we're not going to be expecting some titans with armor. But remember, the bigger the galaxy, guys, the longer the game will continue. And of course, stuff will, uh, you know, get shields and all sorts of badness coming towards you. Uh, okay, that's a lot of energy. That's a lot of energy. We need that. But it can support a lot of uh, modules, which is good. And we can only have armor, which is fine. Um, basic capacitor, basic capacitor. There we go. Uh, nuclear batteries. Oh, I don't think we can power the ship. Oh, yes. Oh, just. Just. Um, yep. Um, we don't need ordnance because we're just firing lasers um, and uh, the plasma blaster. So I think we could just save that there. 60, a uh, reasonable 60 um, might there. So not bad. We'll do good. Remember, guys, every new weapon, you just need to slap it on one of your ships, design a new ship push it out there simple as you just got to keep up that race but also remember to be recycling your ships uh, and of course decommissioning old ships that aren't worth worth the upkeep remember upkeep will start to increase as we go uh, through the game okay okay let's see the shenanigans that are going to happen here Let's have a quick look at that planet again. Two out of five, 22 turns. We can't move everybody out of here. Starvation will occur, but I wonder if, I'm assuming our other planet will um, will import the food because of the, uh, because of the extra. Yeah, it will import the food. Risky. I think we will do that. And like I said, if we had a governor, oh, can we assign her as a governor? I don't think we can now. She is just, she is just a, a, a stealing thief who can't steal anything off anyone because there is no one to steal off. Okay, let's go to the next turn. Oh, sorry, we didn't actually set this guy to a mission. Six turns. Let's go to that neutron star. The other neutron star there only had a dead asteroid field. So let's hope there is riches beyond. Ah, uh, imagination. The microbes are still everywhere. Unfortunately, the operative, I would, if I did mate another civilization, she would be stealing them blind. Okay, we have made the colony uh, here. That's fine. So the queue is now empty. So we've got a decision what to make. Uh, do we just build that, uh, that destroyer that we had? Hello, Van Bishop. How are you doing tonight? Always wonderful to see you guys on here, as always. So we've got the big disappointment, which I do like. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Vaguely forget the, 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 the name of the ship we just built. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Nope, that was not it. It was a destroyer. Uh, sorry, but... Uh, what was it again? Uh, the new Neptune... <clears throat> um, if I can see with my beady eyes. Hmm. Here we are. Might and the plasma blaster. Boom, boom, boom. God, construction costs have been through the roof. We're paying that lady to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> growth. Never. Never no growth. So let's put everybody into construction. Work, you slaves. Work. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, I got a little bit cackling there. Uh, remember, guys, the excess food will be uh, pushed out to your other colonies to help support them. Like I said, uh, if we go to our other planet, 
where we're getting imported food. So remember, it's the collective good. I would even go as far as say, for the greater good. Okay, <laughs> let's soldier on. XDRG, you insult me, sir. I challenge you to a duel. Okay, the lady, Nebula. We'll call her Nebula for now, guys, because I feel that is befitting a name. And, and I do want to say thank you to XDRG for reminding me of her name. <laughs> they call me Mr. Gamma Manta Ray, I would like you to know. <laughs> oh, I love you guys in chat. Okay, we have now uh, researched the uh, advanced mining scanning. We get a little portable scanners out, and there we are. And it's the best thing about this research, which I like. I'm not having to build anything. It, of course, it is just 15% metals generally, globally, uh, which is good. So the advanced that this lady here is... Uh, Certainly, uh, giving me the right information. Oh God, pulse cannons, pulse cannons. I think we're gonna have to go and research a special a specialism. Enhanced shields. What's the turns on that bad boy? Oh, 32 turns. It's like half my life. Okay, so we have five turns. Five turns there. We need to do some shenanigans on our own planet. We're gaining back some of the uh, coins lost from that lady. Two and a one. There we go. Another planet. There is actually a planet orbiting this neutron star. It's a, oh, it's, it's, it's very, very, very scary there. I want to go and live there. Green. God, it's pointless. Nothing but nothingness. But at least we at least we know that most of the habitable planets are very close by. Can we advance any further on that, Mr. Dickinson? Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, oh, I've already been there. Oh, there we go. We're gonna go to that. Oh, we'll go back to our home planet. We might scuttle that ship to save the cost anyway. And we've gained another labourer, another worker drone into the factory for so this uh, i need to i do need to like put more people into research but we could just drop it oh what do we nine turns Ooh, oh, the pollution is going through the roof 55 percent. we need to we need to give them some entertainment soon so a mighty destroyer has now been built fantastic uh, ba ba ba. We just we just need to do some more research of of things that are really going to help us. <laughs> Rough than hand shields. It's going to take too long. I just need to do uh like some building projects, some like factories or market centres. Um, production. Uh, cloning centre be good. What the? That's pretty good. What's better than the clone? What's the difference between the cloning center and the population cloning? So the cloning center will give you fifty percent population growth generated in the colony. So that will be a building for that colony with a probably a big big upkeep cost. Uh, but the population cloning is a fifteen percent population growth globally generated. So it's the it's you pay the cost to get fifty percent upkeep for free or do you actually just have it generally 15% over huh oh that's a good one but that's a governing center that's a, a hard choice a very hard choice there you see I would like to think I can go and research some tundra oh, choices decisions decisions just you know this little mind cannot decide find organics i do i've got to say i'm a stickler very much a stickler for these uh just 15 percent rares generated globally or something that just gives you a whole effect on your empire uh but also not having to um have an upkeep for it and just get it generated. i mean i suppose it's it takes your planets away from being so uh having to have a lot of buildings of upkeep oh it's just a difficult task difficult Oh, oh! Let's the let the chat decide. What do you think, guys? Uh, go for the cloning center or the population cloning. This will go to you guys because I can't decide because I think they're both fantastic. But I'm I'm leaning towards 
leaning towards the population cloning rather than uh, just having to build with upkeep of the building. What do you guys think? Because I think free is free upkeeps it. That's a, that's, a, that's a lot for that one building, and I don't think that's worth it in the long run of the game. What's the ch what's the chat? Pop cloning. We've got one pop cloning there. Yeah, I think pop cloning, guys. I will skip that research to the. God, we, we need to uh, drop people back into research, unfortunately, because uh, uh, do do do. We don't. We all we're doing now. Our home planet. Our home planet is just literally. Uh, look at that. We've, you know, specialising, pushing our bobbins back into the lab uh, to, you know, get that research time right the way down and get plus six research, knocking that from a, a healthy or unhealthy thirty-two turns to eleven turns. Um, but awesome, but lots of pollution. We are certainly uh, crapping over this nice planet. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, build some freighters. I think we're going to build... Um, we might even go as far as build the XTRG, even though the worst ship in the world it is. I can't remember what guns it's got. <laughs> I think I might go have to check the guns before we do build that. <laughs> Let's just have a look at the XTRG. Does it... Does it really, uh, does the XTRG match the uh, Grey Knight? Oh, sorry, Grey Knight. Your ship is, is a little bit trash. <laughs> sorry. That was all on stream as well. Where is it? Where is it? Jupiter. I can't see it. Where did it go? Where did it go? I must have skipped it. The Mars One. No, I, I must be going see now. I can't find the research. I think it's not in there. Let's just click that again. I wanted to see the composition. Sorry, guys, I'm messing around now, but I still want to see it. Do do do. Slightly annoying that it doesn't. It's not giving me a breakdown apart from the uh, sixty. Oh, seven organics. Ah, oh. oh, Grey Knight, your ship is becoming more attractive as the time goes on. Uh, okay, we're still building that, so we need to think about what building we need next. It would be good to build so get some metals, get out of this deficit uh, as we have now. Two turns sounds great for me. We might skip that over, uh, and and then. Oh, we just need so much. We just need so much. Okay, that's fine. Mr. Nebulady's skiving off. Ooh, but the freighters, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. We could build another star base. Uh, get some defense against the colony attacks. That might be good because initially, guys, we don't have very many ships at the moment in time, so we are vulnerable. But we could just stop pumping out big battleships. <laughs> but unfortunately, the, the upkeep are huge. But we are rolling in the dosh at the moment in time. We could lower. We could lower. Uh, we could lower our taxes here. But we just need to research something, to be honest with you, to be able to actually do that. Five turns there. We'll just generate. So, like uh, any Civ building game, you are allowed just to default back down to a research. So, the streamlining training. So, five turns, I can get uh, 60 credits in the bank, down the bank, down the bevy. Uh, I could also do the research uh, to get me uh, 50, uh, <coughs> grants target 15 research on completion. Just as good there. So if you've got nothing to build, you don't want to sit there pumping out ships. I think we still need to pump out ships, unfortunately. But uh, we'll <laughs> we're just going to go with that for now. Um, 60 might. I think we need. A, we want a mix of ship. We want a mix of uh, you know, of course, battleships, cruisers, destroyers, titans. Uh, but we don't want to just go all one ship. That will get uh, tangled about. To, so we've built the factory, so we are now able to uh, have plus one construction per worker in the colony. So now that colony, that's the tundra tiny planet we've just made, is now going to start hopefully giving us some good bonuses towards our empire, rather than being, uh, you know, it's particularly taking a lot of resources away from us, but now it should be hopefully doing a pretty good for us. So one turn left there. 
Let's get back again. Oh, we got people. We got a galactic plague. <laughs> yep, you are perfectly there. The Grey Knight is one of them valiant. The Grey Knight ship will be the forlorn hopes of our fleet, sending straight into there while the other ships uh, home back and destroy the ships. We've got a galactic plague. They're not washing their hands. So our people <laughs> are suffering. The Xeno plague has unleashed upon the sector, reducing the population growth of sentient life. Oh, do you know what? Why don't people just wash their hands? Wash their hands, guys. Just, it's there. <sighs> you see, it says research. Where is the research for this? Washing your hands. You know, it's, it just it should be just a a, a, a normal. <laughs> All right, we've got Mister Mister Stick, Needtep, Exobiology. What? Plus a hundred starship plus plus a hundred percent starship damage versus menaces generated on assignment. Uh, it's not worth it, mate. It's cheap. It's cheap. Why are we pay Nebula one hundred and thirteen pa one hundred and thirteen credits per ter thirteen credits per turn for? Oh, Mister Roboto's gone now as well. He's <laughs> he got a bit disgusted. So is he a? He's an admiral. So let me just uh, uh, clarify that with you guys. She is a agent. Yeah, she's an agent. He is an admiral. So he will. Uh, be on the flagship, but just against menaces, though, you know, that's a bit. Uh, I don't know, I don't think it's particularly worth it. If it was just generally against enemies, it would be worth doing it, but uh, I don't know. What are you okay? Well, like I said, when in doubt, ask the chat. What do you guys think? You think, Mr. I don't know how to describe this gentleman. Pass. I think you're right, Grey Knight. I think I am there. I think just looking at the the plus he gives, it's not worth, especially seven credits. It'll put me to a deficit per turn as well for the uh, salary. Sorry, Mister Stick, Mister Stick Insect, you have been fired. As always, the chat, uh, a hive of information. <clears throat> okay, so we are currently building the housing complex. Like I said, the one thing that I do agree with, oh, I, I mean, I try not to agree with, is you can't rush the housing project because I think it would just break the game. Because at this moment, I could just, if I, if I could rush it, I'd just pummel rush it, um, being able to pop that population to uh, uh, five. See, we need population here. Okay, let's go to the other planet. So we are two turns off getting 60 books. Did we pop that research? Oh, I think it's just gone on again. I think it's just gone again. Well, we're just going to build more ships. <laughs> uh, we'll build that Titan. Uh, 26 turns. As long as we don't go below... Ooh, starving. No, 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 no. no. That's a bit, a bit too much there. Too much. 5-0 battleship iron thruster. We'll have a little bit of a laugh there. If I can click it without de deselecting it. Still 10 turns, and it's also crippling my economy. Uh, but once we have that four turns to, to research the uh, population cloning, uh, we should be able to uh, have a healthy population growth there. Uh, but unfortunately, the plague of people not washing their hands has cast upon our empire. Okay, we've gained a labourer. Absolutely fantastic. So we're four out of the five on this tundra planet. Exciting. So 
Orbital 4 might be indeed what we need here uh, to hopefully deter any menaces from trying to get us. Fortunately, we don't have the uh, 600 credits to rush that. Uh, we're just going to take it as it is. Uh, we are just importing our food from our home world. We're just going to keep that. That's fine. Uh, two turns for population. One... Ooh, and there we go, but unfortunately, the plague is still just killing everybody. So, there we go. So population growth. Uh, generally, that is really good, guys, because that has ne it's now the entire, uh, you know, it's the entire population of my uh, uh, empire. So, we do have an enhanced shield, but I, I, we need to start uh, upping some production techniques. You see, that's good as well. That's good as well, but like we need to like put a lot of people back into research okie doke six turns on that ship seven turns i could rush it for the free uh 300 gold but all the credits but not worth it And there we go, the orbital fort. If you guys are wondering what the orbital fort does, or what does the uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the star base? You, I don't think you can multiple buy them. So the orbital fort uh, provides defense against colony attacks, doubles the starship repair speed. So when we're got damaged ships in combat, or also when we bring them back to our homeworld for repairs, it doubles it. So a crude form of defense is the first one available uh, to protect the world space, fearing species from their enemies. The ability to launch rockets into space with a nuclear-grade warhead sphere as strong as deterrent to any early menaces and push away the dominance. Remember, it's rent well after the Age of Conquest, but the star base doubles the speed as well you see is the orbital fort an, an upgrade to that or is that a separate a separate thing i don't know it sounds like we should have both to be honest with you um we are still growing in 10 turns due to food imported when we stop building stuff we can probably stick stuff into uh re oh god we're just uh we're, we do need some cash we do need some cash here Uh, but that will come by research more than anything else. I think we're, we're going to go with the enhanced shield still. Uh, but I think trying to get some something that can generate us some money, I think. Uh, the Galactic Commerce 2. Wow, the, re the research is certainly get very investing towards the uh, later tiers here. I think she mentioned Tundra, so we'll go with Tundra. Um two turns on the enhanced shield we need the shields because but remember guys if we're gonna uh, literally severely impact our weapons on the uh when we actually have enhanced shields this is probably one of the first sec i think a couple of times that i've d did uh you know, enables optimized specialization of shield modules despite the immense power requirements shields still offer the best defense possible uh so remember guys they got you got your shields you got your hull so you got your shields armor then hull so you got them three layers of protection you know it I fought a ship with some shields, and it was absolutely epic, guys. It was just so hard to break it down, uh, and it literally took a, a small ship, took a Titan out because of the shield. But also, remember, you're going to have to have them batteries uh, to be research, uh, uh, generating them. So I think we'll look at our fleet to see if we can actually just develop that back. Sorry, there we go, Mr. So let's have a look at the design that we can stick a shield on. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, that de the colonizer. We're not going to put a shield on the colonizer. We're not that desperate. <coughs> Give a slightly bigger ship. We'll look for the uh, uh, a titan with a shield on. No, it's optimized shields. I think we still need to research something. Um, to actually get that going. So we'll have a look what that is. So we've got new production techniques going. We need to look for the defence. Uh, so troops. Weapons. I, I assume it has to be under armour. Where is the research for shield? Shield, there we go. There we go. Oh, it's, wow. Very down, further down on the uh, research. Got, I think explosive armour will stick that on there. We've got four turns for the new production techniques, which will be awesome for my home world.
and there we go. So we are now getting plus 15%, like I said before, uh, with looking at the other researchers, guys. Uh, that is plus 15% constructed globally over the way, which is pretty good. So let's have a look what else we got here. Nine turns for the pulse. So uh, you see, putting them extra people into the production, but unfortunately here, we're going to start going into a negative commerce uh, where we start building these extra planet things, which we don't particularly want. Ugh, it's not great. Uh, he's well, I think because he's generating research, we don't want the uh, extra burden of upkeep for the uh, research facility. We need to re make sure we can research some sort of uh, marketplace or just even building uh, another colonizer to uh, got that's a pretty good to do. Yeah, 50%. Let's go with that bad boy, but 120 of <laughs> the turds. We'll probably pop, <coughs> pop a colonizer building after this. So we can actually go on uh, colonize another planet. Uh, ten turns there. We have the population. We have the people to build it, which is good. But the question is, we've got to think about what we want to colonize. So we gained a laborer. I, re I see we're going to meet uh, alien civilization, and they're going to wreck us straight away. So at the moment in time, this planet has maxed out. We cannot put any more population here. We've got to go and find a research that will actually give us either orbital or heightened. I can't remember the name for it. There's a, there's, there is actually a special name for the building. Okay, let's keep going. That's going to stick on construction. We could just go on to creating... Uh, we could move these around a little bit to generate some more commerce. Uh, lowering the, uh, the pollution there, but... We'll stick it back there, that's fine. We've got an equal spread. And six turns for that. We don't have to rush it. We're just happy just to sit there gaining as many credits as possible. And we've developed the Iron Pulse Cannon. Wow, anti-shield and weapons. But really good against Hull. But unfortunately, slightly less against uh, um, the armor. Remember, when arming the ships, guys, you've got to have a well-rounded arm ship or several ships given separate roles. Maybe one ship with more anti-shield weaponry, one ship with more anti-armor weaponry. But also, you need ships that have good uh, hull damage. Re uh, it's not bad. 20 seconds per... It kind of micro lighter main... That's pretty good. Charges also cause damage to subsystems in general, but sadly not nearly as effective against the plain old armour plates. So, a little bit of a mixed cup of tea there. Okay, we've got 17 turns for Galactic Commerce. We're going to save them the news, I guess. Entertainment. Plus 2% morale. I don't think that's pretty... Well, it's the last tier, the only thing on there, so I think you would be uh, guaranteed to research it. Okay, we have now a ship. I don't think we're going to research. I think we're not going to research that. That's that's fine. We'll, we'll knock a weapon onto there. The problem is that we need to go meet an alien race to actually give us a uh, <laughs> some better technologies here. Light main. Ooh, armor. Let's get that research slightly down there so we can equip that after the galactic sieve. So let's have a quick scout around to make sure which planet would be the next target for our third colony of the stream. We've uh, definitely uh, discovered a lot. We could probably pop a research into exploration so we're able to push our um, empire further out. So what was here? One, one, not fantastic. I think we could to planets. We could probably find it a lot easier. Nice to see here that it's broken down. Uh, so I think here, well, we've actually already... Uh, this is the next one, Babylon 1, 25, 50, oh god, to get, oh, oh god, zero, zero, bad, 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 bad planet. So we actually found one on the outer fringes of our empire, which are suitable. But of course our home world is the best planet, uh, you know, it would be very odd if it wasn't. So this is the next, it's tiny, low gravity, arid. Uh, unfortunately we did to research the, uh, tried to research the, what do you call it, um, We'll take all our fleet there. Is it here? Yeah, it's there. It is there. We'll take all our fleet out there. A little bit of a training mission. So 
so the colony has also gained a labourer. Brilliant. So we're at the max possible. Uh, it's really good having these large populations, ladies and gentlemen. You are able to push them into anything you want to do here, as in of, um, you know, construction, commerce. So I could easily probably chuck a lot more into commerce if I wanted to, you know. And if I really want to rush build a ship, I could just chuck them all back into construction for a few turns or whichever. So we're still um, plenty of food, plenty of food. We can't grow any more. Like I said, we've got to think on the grander scale of our empire, uh, but also the research technologies that we're going to research. Remember, you can research one in each tier. Uh, you will gain the others by interacting with other alien races. And I tell you now, trade is such a good thing here because, you know, you don't if you don't do it, you just don't get it, but it is really helpful. But sometimes can be negative, giving your uh, the alien races uh, bonuses against you. Seven turns. Do do do, and global commerce. That's really up to our uh, generation of uh, commerce. There, fifty fifty percent. Wow. That is a, certainly a go-to research for me. Uh, of course, weapons being the next thing. So remember, you can specialise. You can choose. We do have barren and ocean terraforming or swamp. I, I didn't think you could actually terraform a swamp planet. I quite like swamp planets. But I wonder if changing, uh, changing the life on the planet changes what the planet is good for. Because that, you know, it's a good um, planet for organics. But would that change the... Yeah, I'm sure it would. Just changing the world, man. Okay. Got spaceport. Wow. Just, it's literally all about money there. All about money. That is fantastic. F fission reactor. So that's another generator we can research for our ships. Fantastic. So I'm, I'm sure any t time now we are going to be interrupted by a massive alien race that's going to come and wipe us off the galaxy. Okie doke, so we just double check the uh, planet and which planet is the next best planet. So as you can see here on the um <coughs> as you can see here on the planet breakdown, we can see planets of how how happy they are, uh how uh how much they generate in commerce, uh which of course is the planet we're about to uh <laughs> funny enough colonize, uh, the research potential, organics That's not bad as well. Uh, the rays. That's sick, but the planet is a volcanic planet, which is not great. The, of course, the metals. Wow, eight. Why? We're, we're, how far down are my planets on this list? Uh, actually, not that far. They're, they're, they're still there. Uh, and then, of course, the food. Oh dear, where is that planet? That's, you see, depending on what we're going to go for, because I could just go for size. Why did that? That was popularity, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I might have just changed my mind. No, sorry, I think we already, it's this one. Where is that bad boy? See, how does that actually, how does that actually compare to our other planet? Where was that? It's here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's so small. It's so small. I think I might have just changed my mind. 16 commerce. So let's quick check back on this. No, 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 no. This is, this is, sorry, Mr. Ocean Planet. I've made my mind up. Do, do, do. Uh, yep, there we go. Oh, your bases belong to me. Remember, we probably able to chuck this into construction. Uh, I bet you. Uh, ooh, do. No, we need some more freighters, don't we? Then, if they're not going to support that planet, I think it's outside our range, or maybe it's just turn one. It doesn't let you do it. Okay, let's have a look. New colony. So we're onto our third colony. Unfortunately, this planet keeps switching off of uh, me seeing it for some reason. Okay. And we're here, yep. 
And to the next turn, I think we're, we're not far off the fusion laser. So I think we're going to probably bother research this. So we've got three nice colonies there, uh, which are definitely going to be uh, in the future huge, uh, huge. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. You know what? People don't wash their hands. Unfortunately, this guy's not getting enough food. Ah, uh, it's what's going to happen. 10 turns, 300k. Yep. I don't want it to shrink because it's going to shrink. Has that got it out of starvation? Oh, just. <laughs> I had to pop that quite quickly because we would have died. Uh, research there, the popping research. This is why the researchers are going so quickly. These planets have particularly nothing to do apart from just dropping things. So we went to get the fusion UV laser. Uh, we will drop a research, uh, drop a design in the ship. So much bad stuff happening. Intelligent networks talk about devious experiments. There's no moon near the galactic frame. But so, so. Even though it's true, obviously there's little they want to do. Well, wash your hands. Oh, Mr. Roberto's big angry brother. Oh, it's an agent though. We've already got Nebula, who's doing particularly nothing against nobody. So, unfortunately, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, let's end that turn there again, I think. I'm waiting for some galactic menaces to turn up. We've now uh, researched the fusion laser. So, we're going to design another ship. So, we, do, we are... Uh, researching let's go to our designs i think actually dropping these onto research just gives you huge bonuses that are fantastic we could drop a few space infantry into our home planets which might be a good idea so we're gonna go for probably it will probably take one of these guys off nope the five will stay there we go Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let's have a look. We've got now what is actually fantastic, guys, is just the array of weaponry we are allowed to build on our ships. You know, when you think about when we first started just having the red laser, uh, but now we're actually able to have all this weaponry uh, at our disposal, which is absolutely fantastic, making each ship vert versatile for anti shield, anti armor anti-hull uh, but also anti-planetary as well because you can stick nuclear missiles on it that is always uh, a fantastic thing but you know I, I really much liking this we can just make it so the fusion uh, so the fusion uv is good against armor the iron pulse cannons are good against shields uh, the plasma blaster is good against armor 100 percent hull so you could just literally Mix and match these weapons. What did we just? Sorry, what did we just put? We put a uh, do, do, do. We put a fusion laser on the front. We put a. We could put some. So uh, yeah, put it there. Green. We could put a plasma. We could then put two lasers on the side. Uh, but also here we could have an iron pulse cannon. Just loving the uh, the the just the replayability, but also the changes you can make to each of the ships. Uh, awesome but remember just mixing up the uh, points to make it you know the best ship it can be but i do remember guys you are increasing the uh, the construction costs as you can see here uh, the construction costs on metals organics rares and of course the construction itself is huge so the bigger the project the bigger the cost uh, but we all know that. Uh, unfortunately, just having the iron, we've got the wand thrusters. We have no shields, unfortunately. But now we've got to remember to match the requirements of uh, the ship. So we're going to go, we start with the basic, at least we've got 60, we've got 16, um, cock state of that required mattress. Oh crap. Oh, we could just, just only power that ship. <laughs> <laughs> we could only just power that ship. <laughs> What's the might of that thing? 312. Not actually a big ship when you think about it. Let's turn it the uh, BB new, just for the most unimaginative name. Uh, and it will have just engage. But the cost to make that ship are going to be humongous. But it will be worth seeing that flagship come down and gun a lot of people down. Uh, amusingly, of course. Right, wh where is that ship? 
<laughs> Actually, yeah, he's going to cost us a fortune. The fortune particularly we don't have, which makes it hilarious. We need to make sure that we can support these uh, projects. Uh, oh, sorry, I don't know I'm clicking that. <laughs> uh, research there. We're building some peop uh, housing complexes. Uh, nothing particularly that's going to give us uh, any more construction. I think we're going to have to look into what can uh, scanning... Uh, we we'll go to raise, that's fine. Of course, bacteria is... And we've now researched the tundra terraforming. I mean, I, I, it, it's so it's so much construct, construction cost to actually uh, research. Sorry, not to research, but to build the... Uh, to terraform the planet. It's just a huge resource. And I think in only late game is it really going to come into uh, handy. Uh, you know what? I'm really ashamed we've not come into any aliens yet. Yet, I say. There are other alien races on here that will cause havoc in later turns. And I'm sure they're battling each other uh, before we get into this huge fight. Which I would like a few more battleships of description before that happens. You know, I'm going to build that new ship. Even if it kills my empire and resources. We've got one freighter available. So we do need to pop that into research and to build as well. 29 turns you know what i'm st i i'm actually gonna do that i am actually gonna do that and i want to see how much it affects uh um affects our what's the word we'll delete that off affects our morale and also the corruption of the planet i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it because you know what? if it was longer turns i think i would maybe not do it okay the bacteria has disappeared people have uh, so we've got some freighters. We've got 17 turns for 3k rush speed. So we've got, remember, just in chat, remember 15%, 55% uh, morale and 14 corruption. I suppose corruption would change if we take... Nope. Taxes and commerce. So we've researched the advanced mining. So 15% raised uh, globally generated. Woo! brilliant and we've got five turns for the plates oh so as we seem to have just gone on a little bit and i know we've not particularly done too much because of other races uh, i think just through her being hired uh, she has gained a level uh, which is pretty good i'm sure we're not able to actually get we're not actually i don't think we're actually be able to uh, do use it or anything but i think maybe she has an, an increased chance of Oh, I just clicked there by accident, guys, and clicked on Sabotar. Um, literally, I just gave her that 1% uh, skill point. So your uh, agents, um, advisors, uh, admirals, and of course, um, what's the word? I can't say the word now. Gatekeepers of your planet, the, the president. Well, you know what? I need to find the turn. It's the... Um, can't speak. The governor, that's the one. The governor of the planet can gain increased skills so keeping them alive but also you can give them research i like that i like it that's that's a nice little term for that so we've got the plates we're not far off building the i want to really want oh the bird people oh can we hear a big pigeon sound i don't like these guys because every other stream they've just come and hammered me it was gonna happen it only took an hour and a half guys Okay, hello bird people, we are friendly. Uh, threat, these uh, fire indicates how much the faction feels threatened by us. Yes, quick, scum save. <laughs> save, remember sandbox ball T117. Thank you. <laughs> Where are the bird people? Oh, there they are. Oh, they've got one bird planet. It's, an, it's Avery. <laughs> oh, jeez, that was bad. Oh, but guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Nebula will come into handy. Let's start stealing. What should we do, guys? Back to chat. Back to the chat, guys. As as, as, as I like you, I like you guys. So, it, what are we going to think of stealing? Hacker. 
So stealing, rebellion, demolition, assassination, sabotage, uh, counter-espionage, or hacking. Come on, guys. What we're going to do? We're doing stealing again. We've got a split chat here. Come on, guys. Need an overall majority. <laughs> I've always got a bird problem. Just put some pigeon pellets out. <laughs> Show it. I, I think stealing. I, we've got, we're not short of G though, guys. You know, we're, we're pretty good with G. The, the research. What's the, what are the percentages? So we'll, 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 success rate is twenty five percent for stealing, fifteen for hacking, uh, twenty five for cat. Oh god, duration all the time. Stealing seems the best one. We'll try stealing, guys. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> yep, that's true. Where is she? Is she like flown off in some secret spacecraft? Oh, I've still got that Mr. Man there. I, I, I don't want you. Sorry. I've not bothered about him. <laughs> So let's have a quick look at this tundra planet that we are terraforming. Why did that switch off? Why did that switch off? Yeah, it switched off that research. I'm sure I clicked it. Never mind. Okay, the consortium. Oh, they're going to be like... Oh, you know what? That's not a bad research. We'll, we'll, we'll let you have that. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll be your friends. Let's propose a treaty. Trade? Nope, we're not friendly enough to, to give them non-aggression pact. Nope. But we actually gave them the... Uh, we got the arid terraforming from them, so it wasn't that bad. Advanced cloning. Ah, Interstellar Network. Ooh. 37 turns, though. And we've gained a labourer here, which is brilliant. 13 turns for that. 1.1k, we can actually rush that, but I think that's a lot of cash to do that. We'll just wait the 13 turns. Uh, we could just drop somebody from the Commerce... Happy with 10 turns there. Ooh, got some advisement. We have plenty of reserves in our treasury and we expect it to continue growing in the future. It might be uh, decreased taxes to increase the uh, uh, revenue, uh, to increase the morale. Yeah, but I like the, I like the coins, lady. That's unfortunately I do. Oh, so the operative now has skill points. This is what we've got. So I think Thief. Thief. Has she got two skill points? Have a look. One. I like that. I like that. I like that. Has she's learned. But I'm assuming she can die missions. Stealing mission against the Orgrim Consorium. <laughs> oh, they've got their skin. Their skin. They've got no money, guys. Three colonies, one stash. I like that. I like that extra little spice that you, you, you get in that. So she's now... You know, nicking some, nicking some G. Let's see what she gets. I like it. it's like six credits or something ridiculous. Okay, what is she trying to say? Here we go. Oh, yeah, so here we go. The other foreign affairs are happy to report they're going to uh, are somewhat happy with us because of the, uh, in their words, trade partner. So we know uh, there is definitely uh, another two, there's three of us in this galaxy because there's only third. At the moment, so we know that is for, we know thirds. So we're at peace with the bird people. Oh, the back. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll give you that. We'll give you that. We'll need to start building warships just to crap them up a little bit. Anyway. We failed to stealing credits. No, she failed. You had one job. You had one job. <laughs> uh, never mind, lady. Never mind.
So we've got the ships there. We've got the ships. Well, I think we're going to scuttle this ship because it's got absolutely zero might. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, where are we? Sure, that's scuttling that. Let's hope it's not all of them. I think that scuttled the right. I don't, oh no! I think we scuttled the right ship. <laughs> I hope we did, but never mind if we didn't. No, well, I'm sure we did. Here we go. You select you. You can come here. Six turns. We still got the other two sixteen ten there. All right, operative. I think one of you guys mentioned about sabotage. So I think we're going to try some sabotage against them. You know what? I clicked it by accident there. Never mind. What did you actually? <laughs> I think I clicked stealing there. We'll wait till she comes back again. She's probably going to fail. So the contortium wants automated mine. That's fine with me. I think they're quite scared of my military, uh, even though it's uh, not that impressive. Oh, that is uh, quite an interesting little uh, red giant there. Okay, oh, we completed that uh, project yet. Do, do, do. Six turns. Uh, I'm just going to rush that build. All right, so we've got 55% morale and we've got 14 corruption. Let's see how that changes. And does it change anything else in the planet? Let's have a look. I want to see if it changes the colour. I don't think it will, but... Oh, we've got a Chivo! Chivo! Oh, brilliant. I love achievements. Nope. Nope. Did that change the planet? I think it did. It's now a, 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 a terrain... Pl I love uh, yeah, it did change it. It did change it, but it just didn't change the morale. I think because everybody's slightly unhappy. <laughs> but uh, it's... I think it must have changed the uh, the habitability of the planet more than rather than anything else. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I see now if we swap somebody into there. No, we can't because we just we can't build it. We can't actually. We're still being supplied by food from our home world. Meh, it's a win win. Uh, slightly win the win there. All right. Um. We'll go to the automated mine because uh, that will pay for itself. We can actually just chuck people back into commerce for gold. Uh, that's brilliant. Oh, sorry, you're starving. Good, good, good. Oh, we need to uh, we need to build some exo. We need to uh, <laughs> we do actually need to build some food places here. Uh, that could be on a, a research on colony there somewhere. Engineering, swamp planet, which is quite cool because we can you can acquire all of the researchers just through trying to trade, but also with multiple uh, multiple factions here. Okay, so I think we need to go and find. Excuse me, I've got a little bit of a sniffle. Spaceport, power, extended life support, advanced capacitors, shields. I would like just to feed people. We need some food research. <laughs> I don't think we've particularly got anything. Uh, how far it now? It's not on. It's not on. How was a government engineering ocean? Oh, ocean transforming as well. Hmm. Mineral surveyor. Wow, that's robotic mining. Oh, metals. That's pretty good. It's all right, XDRG. I didn't miss you. There we go. Well, we'll go with that. <coughs> we'll stick with the housing complex there. See if the bird people what they do. 
Okay, we've got advice. Let's see what other advice they are advising us on. So, plenty of reserves. Still want to lower the uh, cash thing. I think, yeah, go on then. We'll lower it down to uh, 20%. Uh, and at least that should increase everybody's happiness a little bit here. Yeah. Oh, God, it's gone. The corruption's... Actually, no, it's gone up now to 80%. So, remember, guys, that was at 55% uh, before. But now, due to the, uh, the planet now being... Um, terraformed it is worth the investment especially early mid game or whatever part of the game you are in certainly entertaining like i said guys i do apologize if i'm going slow through some of the mechanics of the game and so hopefully everybody's up to speed so the contortium oh yes please mr birdman i will shake uh, sh shake your talent let's be friends uh one turn then we build that ship that's fine I'm not lowering the money anymore. Stop it, lady. I would like some cash in that bank. Oh, the bird people have one ship there. Two friendly ships. Two friendly ships, including that one. That doesn't just do bugger all. One turn. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so I think we're going to build some, uh, at least some uh, space people to sit on our planet. Stuff was getting. <clears throat> we need to research, uh, research to get some more population on our planets. Twelve's not. Twelve's just too small. Okay, don't we fail to stealing credits? We're gonna go try. We're gonna try. Um, b -b 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 oh, she's in transit. She had one job. One job, guys. Uh, research lab. Nah, 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 nah. Just, just go and get some credits. This is, this is pointless doing anything else. We've, we've not got particularly anything worth the build. We'll take that off as well. I only build it when it's worth it. Because XGRG is absolutely worth it. Oh, bigger is better. Whatever. That, what, what, what is that achievement? Sorry, guys. I'm going to flip on to my thing to see the achievement. What is bigger is better? Build a Titan ship starship in sandbox game mode. <laughs> I'm flashing the entire stream, my Steam. All right. We're going to go for sabotage. We're going to go for sabotage because I think people were talking about sabotage. What is actually... Well, it's quite obvious, but what is it sabotaging? Is it infrastructure, uh, commerce? I'll be interested to see if she actually is successful, but it's a very low rate. Lower than the uh, stealing. My luck, it will just work. But it is quite good that you can actually push a lot of the things onto one person or one faction you don't like. Um, ba -ba -ba. Save a look. Let's have a look. So you're generating some cash. You're generating some people. You're generating another ship. That is always good. Ships are always good. So we've got our three nice provinces there. Uh, the bird people are over to the west side of the map. So whoever else must be up to the north uh, and ready to cause some hassle here. Interstellar Network. We've got Spacebook now. Uh, so plus 25% uh, morale. We are hitting 92 morale there. Brilliant. So production will go through their absolute roof here. Uh, which is what we want. Okay, Spaceport, Open Technologies. Wow, these researchers, late, mid -game, early mid-game, are fantastic. We are crippled, though. We're crippled. We're crippled. We've built too many ships. So, given our relationship, yeah. We're, we're lovers. We are bird lovers at the moment in time. We are just, we're just, he's happy with us. I think because I've just got too many ships. Okay, Governor's here in transit. She's going to sabotage stuff, so let's see what's going to happen. So, the colony is idle. We just need to start building more exo mines and generating as much uh, <laughs> metals to stop the deficit. Nah, research lab's not worth it. Not worth it. Do 
do, do, do. What is the up key? Oh, way too much. Uh, yeah, let's just stop building stuff for a brief second to take a deep breath. We're going to put a star base there, though. Because we can. Okay, I think that is all we need to do. We've got mineral survey. We need to re we already research a military uh, thing. That's so. Uh, da -da -da. A rebellion tenant operating consists of inciting popular revolt among the populace of the colony belonging to the target. Anyway, that is a good one. So let's have a look. So it, she's actually done uh, some spying herself. So we know their skin. <laughs> we know they have five unknown territories, one hero, three colonies, and two starships. I think we could squash them like a little bit of a bug, really. Okay. Uh, but bah, let's see what the bird people want. We'll give it him this time. His face just brightened up. Uh, we don't have enough food here. We do now. We're building the exo mines. So we should get some more minerals from there. Aha! So, as she... Did she do something right in a want? Did she do something right? No, she's still doing whatever she's doing. So she's doing saboteur. So we now just knock that into there. So it gives her a better chance. So I wonder what she's actually... What does she actually going to sabotage in the in the planet? Though? This is going to be the interesting factor to see if she actually... What she's robbing or what she's doing in there. He's so expensive. He's so expensive. So, oh, he, he's just, he's just robbing me. Oh, we gave him, we got uh, a Chivo for giving him some stuff. I'm going to have to say no to him soon, and he's going to be really upset. So let's just start building some battleships and stuff again. Um, What weapons did we actually have? I think we had a mix of the iron cannon still, didn't we? Uh, oh, we've got too many. Uh, yeah, we just had the red laser iron cannon pulse. Is it the red one, isn't it? Yeah. I think we're just going to build a battleship and say, come and get me, bro. Easy. Easy done. Oh, piddle off. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a good one. Sorry, we think we're going to lead to gains both of Yes. Give me buddy, Mr. Birdman, please. Now you're, well, you're worth to be more alive than dead, unfortunately. E. Heck. No. No. Yeah, he's still smiling, though. He's sitting, sitting, sitting smiling even I said no to him. Did she actually do anything against him? We're, we're going to do uh, hacking. We'll try hacking. So she must have three turns to get to them. She's level four. I like that. That is at least her cost. It seems her salary doesn't go up even though she's leveling up. I'd be charging through the roof for my skills. So we have researched the mineral surveyor, giving us plus 10% metals, plus 10% organics, and 10% rares. What a absolute belter of a research there. Ooh, anything? Oh, ho, ho. subsurface. Every planet has a limit, but we provide living spaces. Underground. Do, 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 do. I was uh, humming a little bit of War of the Worlds there, if people would like to know. I've got that in my head now, actually. Okay, that's actually quite bloody 70 foot. <laughs> Quick, get the boffins to the lab, guys. Oh, a Zeno, look at this. Oh, 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 look at that gorgeous man. He is a, is an admiral. Is he an admiral? Yeah, he's an Admiral Level 1 Engineer, plus 10% Engineers, Starship for her, oh, generating on assignment. You see, I don't think that's worth it. 
Even Mr. Even Mr. Mott Lumber, the robot man, he brings more to the table. But I'm loving that you get these. Um, ha <laughs> ha Mr. XDRG, give yourself a clap on the back. Even the. Um, I love it how. Th just the randomness, but also the 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 interesting factors the different uh, heroes bring to the game, and it's more than just your average. Uh, you know, space game that there is that actually drop in characters. I, I, I very much do like that, <laughs> but Nebula seems to out trump them all at the moment in time. It just the price for unless you are really just hammering down the commerce, it is going to be mighty difficult to keep his. It's just I only could see it further on the game to actually give a lot of a lot of sorry a benefit there for the Mr. Robot and Mr. Roberto. Um, we are fine there. Let's just actually just check we are actually building proper things. So research, uh, money. Uh, let's have a look here. Can we actually build anything slightly more? We've got, oh, actually, that is a per. Oh, we're going to bop that on there, I think. But re doing this research thing will give us uh, 15 points of research, which will save us just dropping a load of guys into the uh, into the construction pool and can still produce lots of resources. Yep, five turns for that. 1.5k for the rush. Uh, data net infection. What websites have you been looking at? Oh, our face systems have been infected, President. Not only ours, but the entire Galactic Data Network is under attack by this virus, which is making a mockery out of date security measures. <laughs> Get your Norton antivirus up to date. <laughs> I thought I believe whoever's doing this is light years ahead of information and technology as no point contact can be found for the hack. Let's hope that either they get bored or get another countermeasure soon enough. Just get off their websites, it's easy. It's a bit of self control there. <laughs> that's I love that research. That's that's so funny. Uh, I love it. Did actually did that negate research then? What's it? What's the negativity here? What's what? What's it? What's the negative? Am I missing something here, guys? What's the negative there? Oh dear! <laughs> you absolute bird man! <laughs> he declared war on me. What? 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 I just, just, just said no. Ha! <laughs> just don't get it. Woo! Let's kick some bird. Let's, let's bring out the, the, the pigeon pellets. We'll get him. God, he's got a few colonies now. Right, just going to drop a slight scum save here. All right. Oh, it's the dodgy websites again. All right, let's just go full hacker man on that woman. Yeah, just the rebellion doesn't. I think dem let's just try demolition. Well, she's gained to level four for doing nothing. You know, I can imagine once she actually does something. Uh, Okay, let's just make sure we do have... Sh oh, gold. No, uh, we should really leave some ships back in our base. So we did drop there, but... Can we bombard this planet? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just see how our, 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 our ships actually do. Uh, we are going to blow up this, uh, can this. It is nice to actually see our ship. So this is uh, on his swamp planet. Wow, actually that green. Oh, wow, the one space defender. Ooh. 
we do have our one ship that is going to disengage. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Look at the ships. Oh, yes. The mighty fleet. Sorry, the... Uh, is the great is this the grey knight? No, it isn't. We oh we, we didn't build any grey knights. Did we? Nope, that's the new Neptune. Oh, the fiver. I I just can't believe this is the planetary defence. I can't really say anything because he bugged a ship to my planet as I moved in. Uh, what might? It only gives him 45, but considering my ship's only bringing me 5542. Four, oh! Oh, who's shooting who? Oh, look at the green goo! The green goo! <laughs> Boom! You're dead, sucker! <laughs> Love it! Oh, you absolute beast of a man. Get off my planet. Oh, you... Yeah, you bugged out, didn't you? You chicken. Right, we're back on our planet. Oh, she failed to do anything. Ah. Oh. Lay your head in shame, little lady. Lay your head in shame. All right, these ships are all over the... What ships has he got? He's got one hostile ship who bombarded my planet as well, sucker. I was just happy being the most only civilization in the galaxy, and this bird man comes along. We've got a big fleet here now. We've got some big ships, apart from that one frigate that's doing absolutely... All right, is this that frigate? Because I'm going to get rid of it. Nope. So what we've got here, we've got that one battleship, that's fine. What we're building here, build another one to come and flatten him. Yeah, it is true, it is true. Ooh, ooh, our fleet's <coughs> in disarray. High energy subspace pools was detected across the galaxy. But a phenomenon that has greatly affected our hyperspace travel by effectively reducing both range and hyperspace speeds in half all space-fearing species. Our Terran scientists assume that in regards of the cause, such a thing can only be temporary. Gotta say, love these little things that drop in now and again. And I think you can change the, um, change the things that are happening. All right, we're going to see if he drops in or out of here. All right, she's idle. Can you do some, like, demolition work against the bird people? Or do something nasty against them? Did he just drop a... He dropped a... I think he dropped a fleet there. And then he bugged off. Oh, he's got... He's got some more ships. He's got some more ships there. I see it's 69, that's a lot of uh, orbital fort. We've got the star base. Well, the star base seems the uh, next uh, next answer, really. Do, do, do. We could build the battleship, that's fine. Uh, you can generate some cash. There's the big brew. Do, 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 do. Uh, Is that gonna cripple it? I don't think it will. Okay, there we go. Is she doing something? Uh, oh yeah, so she's seems to be still up. Even though she's not particularly doing well, uh, she's actually. But also, which is uh, interesting, she can't actually gain. I don't think any more skills, but you could only drop skill points into the skills she already knows. So, Thief, oh, if I would click the right button, but I didn't. Uh, so, a Saboteur, oh no, she puts it twice into there. Oh, that's, that's, that's fine. Well, we needed that anyway. 
Um, has he amassed his mighty pigeon fleet of two ships? I think we just build another colonizer and colonize one of these plants. Here, uh, planets? Plants? Planets here. Because uh, we can terraform with tundra, can't we? Uh, and swamp after research. Oh, do you know what? These plagues are slightly annoying. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, did she do something there? I don't know what actually happened. Bird. <laughs> Bird flu. Uh, <laughs> I know what you meant. I know what you meant. All right, let's go. Let's start doing more stuff. Let's try. I just we'll try something of everything. He's got one. Let's just try. Mm, so low. It's got to be stealing, but he's got nothing. What's the uh, mighty of might there? We are at might 1k. But unfortunately, we've not particularly researched any decent uh, sp space weaponry at all. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to probably try and cause this to a close in a few minutes, just to make sure everything is where it needs to be before I do this. So five turns for that. These guys are researching. We could just just bomb a big ship. The Grey Knight. I'm sorry, it's uh, it's not uh, as good as it would be. Uh, ooh, I'm trying to think what sixty battleships. Feel oh, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Better than the Titan, to be honest with you. But we are falling behind on keeping our upkeep up. We really are. Do do do. In there, da da. We're fine. Yeah, we need to start colonising more planets and dropping more mines. That should. I wonder how many turns that's going to knock off. So it's nineteen. It knocks four. So we were blockaded, but I think he retreated. Yeah, he he went here and went well. Unfortunately, there's like a whole armada of ships waiting just to blow him up. Uh, once we have enough ships just to reimburse, we'll just send everybody to go and get him. Just one. It's got... I think we could probably just take the two ships. Well, let's just save it there, guys, and then we're going to go after him. Oh, did he, he... Oh, he, he ran away. He ran away. We've got to auto-resolve this. Oh, we lost a ship for auto-resolving. Ha! Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't have any... No, he birded away. He birded away. Uh, we would need a troop consistency to actually invade this planet. So, I think, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to a natural end of the stream, guys. Nets, I love that. Uh, I just want to say a big thank you to um, <coughs> Slivering Games for letting me stream tonight. Astra Exodus. It has been fantastic, as always. I really enjoy playing this game, guys. Uh, and like I said, I do apologise for going slow on some of the aspects of the game, because uh, I want to give you the most, uh, the most entertainment and also the most experience of all the good points of the game and like i said ladies and gentlemen you guys of the stream make this uh, entertaining for me and then just as enjoyable so thank you everybody thank you everybody who commented and made this a wonderful stream like i said ladies and gentlemen i will be back tomorrow on some gladius uh, and uh, hopefully, guys, there'll be something new in the near future for Gladius. I'm not, I can't say what, but something new is going to be coming out. Uh, and I'll let you guys just keep a thought on that for next week. And I will see you on the next Battlefield, folks, and have a great evening.